Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is just buff them a little bit. Um, I gave them a little while to dry. Um, clean sock, put your hand in it. And we're just going to rub them gently, since we haven't sealed him, so very gently. Just to get some of that roughness off that we dry brushed. Um, you want a nice smooth, even coat, so this is going to get that rough you know, dry brushing type thing off. Careful with your nails. If you have nails, do not push them against the resin. Otherwise, you're going to get a nice big chunk out of it. Um, so, yeah, I've learned that the hard way as well. So, just gently with your finger, rub around, get it nice and smooth. And the reason we are doing this is because we are now going to add some shading to the muscles and stuff to give it more depth. Um, but you don't want a rough surface when you're using pigments or pastels because you're going to get a lot of graininess in the end. So you want to make it nice and smooth. I think that's good. And now... Be sure not to spit on your horse when you blow it off, or the dust. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to do... Um, I guess I'm going to use... Um, oh crap, which one was it? Uh, hold on, checking. Mm. I'm hoping this is not going to be too dark, but we'll give it a shot. Um, uh, burnt Umber, very dark. It is, I have Sinopia, it's a pigment, um, it's like, almost like pe ground up pastels, but a hundred thousand times better than pastels because there's more pigment in these, um, it's the actual pigment, so it's going to take a lot of less layers to get what you want, and they're just great, I pretty much haven't gone back to pastels yet, um, so I'm going to use this, put a little bit of this in my palette, and I decided I want to see what's going to happen if I tried a little bit of some Perlex, uh, what do I have here? Antique Copper. Um, this is a more um, shimmery type of pigment. I mean, you don't have to add this. I'm just, I just kind of want to see what it's going to look like. Hopefully it, it, <laughs> it works. Otherwise, um, we could fix that quite easily, so long as you haven't sealed it. Um, I'm also... Um, you also need needed eraser, your friend. Take a little tiny little piece off. Um, it's cool if you've never seen it before. Uh, it's like gum, so you can make it into any shape you want, and it's an eraser. Um, great for small little pointy areas. You can probably get those anywhere these days. Um, anywhere that sells art supplies, school supplies, they're probably right there with the erasers. Um, I'm also going to use a pointy q-tip for this. I usually use my brushes, but this is just so small and I don't know if I can get in there with those. I could try. We might use some brushes too. We'll see what we need. I guess we can have this on stand, another zero brush. Not as frayed and gross as the other one. Um, pointy q-tips. I found you can get these at Rite Aid by the makeup section where they have all the brushes and things. Mine's all the way at the bottom. I don't know what brand they are. I haven't bought those yet. I did find these at Target. Is this upside down? Upside down. Um, but they kind of suck because they fray and stuff easily and turn back into a regular Q-tip real quick. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't 100% recommend these, but you'll just go through a lot more. So, I mean, they do the job, it's just, you gotta use five instead of, you know, if you have a better kind. I'm not sure what kind this is, um, I got this as a piff or a gift, um, if you're not on Blab and you don't know what that is. Um, so I'm not positive what these are, but they're probably in, um, I've heard you can get them at Sally's Beauty Supply and, you know, stuff like that. They're pretty much makeup applicators, um. But we'll try this new one and see how this goes. Hopefully this is better than the ones I bought. Um, here we go. So I put some of the 
two pigments in my palette here. This is the um, what is this? The burnt umber, and I have the pearl X up here. I'm just gonna, you know, very little bit on your Q-tip. Um, I'm gonna mix them just to see what happens. I don't know. It's a learning process. Discover new things every day. So just gonna get a little bit on my Q-tip, and we're just gonna go in all those grooves. If you go outside of that, don't worry. That's what the new data eraser is for. But let's. I'll do this, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing, and we'll move on. Ooh, that's really dark. <laughs> hopefully that works in the end. Yeah, see, I can't even get in that groove already, so I'm going to take my brush and use that to get in there. Brush that in there. Rub it in. Got a bunch of little wrinkles. Actually, I kind of like this color. Put the two mixed together. It's pretty cool. Get it in. Oops. Oh, goodness. I just used my good brush. Crap. Crap! This looks like a mess now, but hopefully I can... What I'm planning to do works worked before. Okay, so now that we have this mess, um, what you're going to do is take your kneaded eraser and lightly rub on top and it's going to take all that pigment off of the higher areas where you want the highlights and just work that around get that pigment off of the top because you don't want, you know, big dark brown spots all over them. This is actually coming out pretty good. Should have used this color before. You see how all these grooves where he's got the wrinkles in there, it's darker, it makes it more, you know, it makes it pop more. So you get back here that doesn't have any of that yet, how flat that looks compared to where all the shadows and shading is over here. So we're just going to do that for the rest of the you know, grooves and where he's going to have shadows and maybe a little bit under here because it's dark under there, but I don't know if I'm going to do too much there. Um, make a mistake, need an eraser, wipe it off, we're good. You can use very little bits because with pigments you really don't need a lot at all. Um, they're really strong, so to speak, um, instead of pastels. If this was pastel you probably wouldn't even see this on here yet. You just want to take it a little section at a time, you know, so you don't forget to uh, erase an area and, and you have this big splotch when you seal it and it's too late and all sorts of problems. Again, this is just the way and the colors I'm choosing to do it in. Um, if you feel comfortable doing it a different way or you want to use a different color or your reference looks you know I don't know completely different than what I'm doing here don't follow exactly what I'm doing um, it's always important to follow your reference and a little hair speck here and I'm very gently getting it out with a toothpick There we go. See, he's starting to come along. He's got a little more dimension to him compared to... See how flat this side looks? But now we're going to do the other side. <laughs> 